Hi there, and this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus. Hello, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Taurus. We are going to be doing some past life oracle cards, your extended, should you wish to rent it. We will be using the sexual tarot magic deck card. So it will be in the Zodiac Intimate Extended section of my website. If you click on that upside down triangle below, it's going to open up the description box here on YouTube. There will be a link. That link will take you straight to my website. Um, saltwaterhillstarot.com but also in that link is going to be my patreon link excuse me in that description box is my patreon link and it is if you love erotic tarot readings i do them there as well and i also do bonus ones there just for patrons Alrighty, here we fucking go taurus sun moon rising venus signs as well as a cross watcher unrequited love this is past life energy, unrequited love. Some, there's a, there's an, I want to say an outstanding lifetime that sticks out, stands out for someone where there was extreme pain, unresolved feelings and energy, unfinished business, feeling scorned, feeling rejected. Someone here, a feminine, is still scorned. She felt left out. She felt heartbroken because someone may have chosen someone else. She may have been waiting for someone and they never came back. So back then in those days, it was rough because if they went out for war, they would have died and you wouldn't have really known, you know, if they went hunting and shit, if they went out to sail on a boat, like it was very sketchy energy, you know, you just didn't know. There's this unresolved love <sighs> unrequited it's it's how come why did they not come back why did they not choose me this person could have been a wallflower right someone that was overlooked a lot uh, at balls, at dances, they never ask them out. It's like, it's basically like um, Penelope Featherington, if you watch Bridgerton, you know? Overlooked. Holy fuck, karmic relationship. There's a lesson. This was a karmic relationship or lesson for some. This outstanding lifetime that is still so fucking hurtful. There was a lesson here. And when the lesson is finally learned. Shut the fuck up. Lesson, lessons and blessings. I'm psychic um it's like I'm tapped in or something um if there was a lesson there and when the lesson is learned that karma is released and that pain and heartbreak is released and it's no longer an outstanding lifetime someone here felt so hurt and painful and rejected that they wouldn't allow themselves to see what the blessing was, the lesson, the blessing, the blessings. The energy here of an actual stopwatch, like a pocket watch kind of an energy could be relevant to old school pocket watch, time. I waited, I waited, it never happened. It's like the soul still waiting. It's like about making peace and telling the soul, you know what? It was a self, it was about self-love, or you know what? It wasn't about that. The moon, Pisces. Moon is intuition. It's 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 also secrets though. Eight of Pentacles, someone working really hard on something. Some it, this is about working hard to close out this cycle because the moon is also cycles and phases. Oh my god. Gang dang a lang. Now, in that past life, this person may not have put in effort or there or, or you waited and, and nothing happened, right? Whatever the case is. In this life, you've got 
someone large and in charge coming in hot and heavy honey look at that the emperor which is aries but the emperor is a divine masculine you got the king dangling card here honey king of wands aries eel sag this is a very aggressive energy this is someone who's very motivated and they're a go-getter they could be a business owner they may be the boss or the ceo they, they go after what they want some this is the lifetime you get chased this is the lifetime you are shown love this is the lifetime that you feel loved look at that the king of pentacles it's a rich motherfucker Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here, but the King of Pentacles is someone who's very established. Someone who also has an offer to give. Could it be an offer of love? But it feels like it's not just love and it's fleeting. It's it's love and stability. This is a long-term committed offer with this King of Pentacles. Two of Wands. This Two of Wands energy here is... Deciding, someone has to decide what they want to do. It's a huge life, life changing decision. Making a choice, deciding. There's a pivotal point here for someone. Leo energy, strength. Taming the beast, right? Getting over some kind of really difficult situation. That's this. Learning this lesson and, and getting over this is going to take an extreme amount of willpower. Because he's just so heartbroken. It was like the soul froze. It's like, you know what I mean? It just got like shell shock. It was like trauma to it. Page of Pentacles, younger earth sign. But this can also be an offer coming in. And then the Hierophant, which is Taurus. But the Hierophant is marriage and commitment. This is the lifetime you get married. This is the lifetime that an offer is made. See, look, Knight of Pentacles. Um, this is the lifetime that you get the offer of proposal. And, and, you know, Bridgerton is so wonderful, but it's very like Jane Austen vibes, right? Where back then they were courted and, you know, would you sign my dad's card? And, you know, for whatever reasons, maybe back in those days, you know, this, your person went away for war and then that's why you kind of were alone at the balls and the dances or, or your person died or like you, the person you wanted didn't want you, right? You know, any of those vibes, great fortune, Jesus Christ. A lot of you are lining up with great, huge fucking fortune. Yesterday, April 12th, we had the um, the great conjunction with Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces. It's the, one of the luckiest days and extremely important days to manifest. To basically wish for everything your heart desires. I know I did. I put it out into the fucking universe yesterday and today. Hand of cards. Taking a chance. Risk not showing hand in the past maybe someone here didn't show the way that they felt they held back love call someone expresses love see and then this is the lifetime that like you actually get that like energy you get that attention this is the lifetime that you have been waiting for in terms of finally knowing what it feels like to be chosen but also knowing what it feels like to be the person who has the husband and the children, you know, who has that happy home. And even if you're sitting there right now going, yeah, that's bullshit because I'm sitting here alone right now. Bitch, that's right now. Yeah, right now. The fox. Deceit. Something that's wrong. <sighs> Stealth. But really, it's that energy of like in the, someone from that past may have lied to you you know may, they may have made you think that you, they wanted to marry you and love you and it just did not work out that way the moon pisces secret this could have been a secret love affair too and this is what's also really upsetting is if they said oh, i'm gonna leave my spouse for you i'm gonna leave my wife or my husband and they never did it's like it's a, it's a scorn fucking woman the church marriage so absolutely somebody here could have been married in a past life and then you were sort of like the mistress death scorpio and the birds communication so the communication here stopped in this past lifetime but also this is very indicative of this lifetime remember that love call the communication finally comes in it may even be the same soul 
that in this lifetime goes oh oh my god i know you oh my god you're so cool oh my god i love you i mean that's vindiction what do they call that vindication isn't it right <laughs> best revenge is success and the best revenge is you being you know on your shit and you being the motherfucking empress and they'd be all like oh my god hi it reminds you like if you weren't cool in high school right and nobody wanted to date you and no one paid you mind and then fast forward now you're cool and, and hot as shit and the cool girls aren't the cool girls anymore but like you are and now like the guys that you used to be like all in love with that ignored you hit you up now that's like this for some of you Oh, and then for some of you, of course, they passed away and died and you were just heartbroken and like ended up being an old spinster. But no, for some of you, it's like the old, old high school vibes. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Sudden. You have fortune twice. You realize that? You have fucking fortune twice. And then you also have the compass, which is true north. Seeking the truth, but someone comes home finding your way back home home is where the heart is someone here waited at home too but they also put out that like sls they shot the flare up boom like that you now where are you come back to me come home and this and now they see the north star they're coming home really incredible fucking energy here this really is this is like everything you've ever waited for and wanted is happening in this life third person again bottom of the deck so yeah a lot of heavy heavy being an option energy okay so we're going to get into extended again if you want to click on that upside down triangle below the link will be there or on my website saltwaterhillstrial.com in the zodiac intimate section thank you for your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube please be sure to follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and make sure you're not duped by the scammers and accounts pretending to be me um, I would never solicit you. I would never reach out to you or DM you and ask if you want a reading or a session. Those are frauds, okay? Do not entertain them in the DMs. Do not add them and do not send them no motherfucking money, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in the extended. Love you.